Good morning everybody, it is Monday, you know what that means. Welcome along to episode 113 of our F1 Manager 23 career mode here on the Rockstar Pool 69 channel. And it is time for the Singapore Grand Prix in our first season. If you do like the content you see, do consider that like button. Also the subscribe button as well. It promotes the channel out, it helps us grow even more. And it pushes us out to more people on YouTube. Alfa Romeo, we are in our villain arc at the moment. Leading by about 180 points from Red Bull Incomes. Williams, McLaren, Ferrari, Aston Martin, Mercedes, Haas, Alpine and Alfa Tori. Bringing up uh, the rear as uh, they generally tend to do with uh, Alfa Tori. And we also have Ferrari in the middle. It's an Italian sandwich. Lando, he leads the way from Pierre Gasly, but now by 62 points. Then comes Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, Yuki Tsunoda, Oscar Piastri, George Russell, Esteban Ocon, Lance Stroll, and Antonio Giovinazzi, your top 10. And Vacher still hasn't scored a point. Ooh, what do we think, folks? Place a bet. Will Richard Vacher score a point uh, before the end of the season? Nicholas Solov, he still leads the F2 Championship and in the F3 Championship, Tommy Smith, the man who looks like he hasn't had a haircut and he hasn't shaved in his entire life. He leads uh, the way in that. So we're going to take practice with the boys and I'll see you on the other side of this for the first session of qualifying. Singapore, new parts for Lando. I'm calling a pole position for him. All right, then, it's time to get on to Q1. Q1 practice uh, was all right. It wasn't uh, anything special, but Lando definitely, definitely making use uh, of the uh, of the new parts here uh, in his car and making use of them very, very nicely uh, at the same time. I'm going to be interested to see how uh, Lando goes. Obviously, we're going to need to take a penalty for Gasly. I'm thinking doing it at Japan because Japan is an OP place for uh, penalties. Maybe we get uh, lucky, who knows. Someone in my comments did say that doing this two fuel run is not um, is not the quickest anymore. But I still find that um, it can be quick when it needs to be. Especially, say, around the shorter circuits. And I think uh, around a circuit like this, I do think that two two runs is still the fast way to go. But again, leave that uh, in the comments. Do you think two is the way to go? Do you think one is the way to go? I I'm interested to uh, to get you guys' thoughts. Anyway, here comes Lando. And there goes Pierre right behind him. Let's see which, uh, which is which. We may even take our penalty here with Gasly. Depends on, on what happens. Traffic getting in the way is uh, not going to help things uh, whatsoever. But through the final corner for Lando. And that is going to be P2. <laughs> what did I tell you? Gasly only P15. He needs to really improve on that. He's not improving in the first sector. He's not improving in the second sector either. This could be uh, Pierre Gasly out of qualifying. And if it is, he's getting the uh, ERS penalty here. He's going to take his ERS penalty right here. That'll uh, help us out no end. Over the line, there is no improvement from Gasly. And who is... Get, get out of the way, Matias Speedy. Ah, oh, somebody's beat him. Gasly's out. Right, we take the penalty here then. I think that makes uh, sense, don't you guys? Gasly eliminated. Take the penalty here and uh, good and golden. That that's, uh, that's how it should be. So, Lando P2... <laughs> We lose Porsche, Gasly, De Vries, Vorcher, and Perez. Sounds like a boy band, doesn't it? Sounds like uh, five missing members of Take That or something like that. Anyway, let's move on to Q2. All right, then. On to Q3. Sorry, Q2. <laughs> we haven't got to Q3 yet. I, in fact, we're that confident we're calling this Q3. And then the next session's going to be Q4. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone and completely lost the plot. I have gone and completely lost the plot. And again, everyone says I've never had the plot and begin with. I am completely batshit crazy. <laughs> and everyone is like, and we're only just finding this out now. No, I already knew it. <laughs> it is really warm in this room already. Uh, what's the temperature? 19 degrees. It's only 10 o'clock. Mind you, we're having a heat wave. Uh, the next two, three days of recording this. And I think because uh, I'm going to London 
Uh, as I'm, I record this uh, on the uh, 18th, I'm going to London tomorrow on the 19th. Uh, we're going to have a heat wave, and I'm going to be in London where it's 30 degrees. Always remember to take a bottle of water with you, which is what I never do. And then again, when I do take a bottle of water with me, uh, it's generally one of those piddly little bottles that uh, I take, and not one of those uh, big massive uh, bottles. Anyway, Lando. It's coming through the final corner. Well, not the final corner. This is the final corner uh, coming up. Flings it in. And it's going to be P3. Does he improve? He's still improving. He's still improving. He gets a tow off one of the cars in front of him. That car's uh, disappeared into the pit lane. Brilliant. Through the final two corners. And Lando Norris goes... Yes, he got faster two sectors, but nothing, uh, nothing spectacular. That's absolutely fine with me. Absolutely fine with me. We'll take a P4 in that session. See, I told you we're that confident. Oh, Yuki's taking a penalty. That's good news to hear. Very, very good news. And we lose Lance Stroll, Liam Lawson, Guan Yu Zhou, Carlos Sainz, and Alex Albon from the top ten. And with that, folks. I think it's time we move to Q3. Okay, dumb fuck alert. Dumb fuck alert. Someone forgot to uh, press the record button on Q3. Which meant you missed out on Lando's absolute magnificent lap that got in pole and then uh, Yuki, the heartbreak of Yuki Sonoda coming along and uh, whipping it out, slapping it down on the table. But we're getting pole anyway because Sonoda's uh, got to take his penalty. The only bad thing is uh, that McLaren and Oscar Piastri is uh, lurking in the background. And I'd rather that McLaren uh, didn't lurk there, because if it did, well, we know what's going to happen. But hey, at least Kevin Magnussen didn't get in the way of our qualifying effort this time. Let's go uh, set up for the race. All right, then. On to the uh, race strategy. Only 87% confidence for Pierre in his setup. But with the ERS as it is right now, I think it's only right. We're going to give him his new gearbox. Oh, did I not... Oh, no wonder, Gaz. I didn't give me that new... Oh, Ian. <sighs> Nobody saw nothing. Nobody saw anything. Okay. No, you didn't see that. We, That didn't happen, okay? We didn't uh, make an error there. Anyway, let's go get this uh, set up. Now, they're all saying this two-stop might work. Two-stop is possible. But a one stop, yeah, the one stops faster, isn't it? The one stops faster. <sighs> I think if we start Lando on the hard tyre, then we should be good to the end of the Grand Prix. I think if we start Lando on this hard tyre, we should be all right. Yeah, let's do that. A one stop with Lando. Can a two stop be faster? Well, they say a two stop can be faster. Wow, a two stop really is faster. Hang on. Hang on just a second. Do I go for a two-stop? Oh, I could go for a really aggressive two-stop here. No. No, no. No. Don't doubt myself. The one-stop is faster. The one-stop is just as fast. So we'll just we'll just go with what we had there. We'll go with the one stop for Lando, and we're going to do something different with Gasly. I think Gasly will do the two stop because he's got soft tires to play with. So one stop for Lando. We'll take uh, fuel out of his car. In fact, you know what? We'll take it all out of Lando's car. We'll go uh, proper save the engine uh, stuff right here. Right, Pierre. Pierre, I can do that. He's got new sets of softs here. And the one stop is slower, so we're going to do this two stop. 
but we're going to start him on the medium. And then he can go to the softs for the end of the Grand Prix. I think I think you'll all agree that is the right uh, play right there. How many laps is it here at Singapore? It's 63, isn't it? Yeah, 63. So as long as we get uh, two 18s, maybe two 19s. Yeah, two 19s. That should be uh, the way to go. Yeah, let's do that with uh, with Pierre. So we'll see how Pierre goes with uh, with this luck. Not uh, not hoping for anything, but you never know with uh, with Pierre what uh, may or may not happen. But uh, I'm expecting the victory for Lando. Final checks have been carried out on the grid, and it won't be long until we get underway. And for Lando Norris, this is another chance to see what he can do in this car. They start in P1, but will they be able to stay there? The first corner could be so crucial. And the time has come. Let's go racing. We're just moments away from the Singapore Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. All right then, Lando from the front. Gasly from the rear. I don't know what we uh, quite meant by that, but uh, I'm pretty sure that that uh, is not going to suit anyone very well. I'm also very sure that we, uh, we're we going to make this uh, alternate strategy work because that, uh, that has been a very uh, fundamental thing for uh, our cars this year. Making alternate strategies work. Making them work uh, big time. That's uh, absolutely fine. We can uh, we can do that. Let me just uh, pop you into there. There we go. So Piastri's taken the lead, which is fine. Piastri uh, can take the lead all he wants. We're on this uh, we're on this alternate tyre, and we're going to make this work as long as we stay with Piastri right uh, through to the DRS. We should be uh, we should be absolutely fine. I have every confidence and every faith. Well, I'd like to think I have confidence and faith. Whether it uh, translates to uh, anything or not, that uh, remains to be seen. But uh, hopefully it does. Well, he hopes it does. Whether it actually does or not, that, uh, like I said, remains to be seen. But he's sticking with him at the moment. Right on his back end. He's almost dropped uh, Verstappen out of DRS, which uh, is incredible in itself. Piastri with the fastest lap. <laughs> Not for much longer there, mate. Okay, Verstappen. Oh, this okay. Is what so uh, we lost touch track. with uh, with Piastri, and now Verstappen has come past us. Useful. That's into the Singapore sling, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, get close. Get very, very, very close there. Like, oh, and into the Anderson hairpin as well. Yep. Yeah, all right. Well, you have that one there, Max. Gasly overtakes poor chair. Right. French, uh, Frenchman 14. on Frenchman. Can they squeeze by? Into I forget what turn that is. It might be turn 15 or 16. I'm not uh, not entirely sure. Oh, yellow flag. We've got a yellow flag. We've got a couple of cars have crashed. That's going to help out Gasly, I think. It's going to be... Who's it going to be? It's going to be Giovinazzi on Carl George Russell. Oh, squeezed into the wall. And everyone's gone through debris there. That's going to uh, spice things up a little bit. Be interested to see who gets a penalty for that one. Because that looked uh, a bit rogue. There is a crash into... Yeah, nice and stays the Gasly up to P15, past uh, Giovinazzi, and now past Russell as well. So that's uh, him up two positions as Lando is attacking the uh, Piastri here for the lead of the Grand Prix. We've dropped the Stapper by a good couple of seconds. There goes, uh, yeah, Gasly's past Russell. We know, uh, we'll have a look at that one. Is that going to be, yeah, that's going to be it. So it looks like Giovinazzi uh, has an issue. It looks like uh, so does... Uh, Russell as well, so that was a nice season. They both going in the lane. Giovinazzi is, but not to Russell. Interesting to know, but that's two positions. Okay, all got another yellow flag uh, out there. Gasly up to P11 now. Norris into the race lead. Bottas has binned it. 
It's going to be into... Where's he binned it? Oh, he's hit the wall. That's um, after That's the... Uh, yeah, I agree with that uh, there. Uh, not really. It's don't don't agree with what uh, Valtteri just said there, folks. Do not agree. That is for sure. And we mean that, folks. Really, really do not agree. Really, really don't agree with what he just said. Okay, right Gasly uh, overtakes show. Right, let's have a look here as we go Ooh, into there's eight. three of them here lined up nicely in a row, and one of them is uh, cut um, George Russell, I think. That's a good Around the outside goes Gasly. Great move. He's up to P8 let's now, ahead of Esteban Ocon. Now, this was the Alfa Romeo. He's passed the Ferrari, and now he's going to pass There's the McLaren, the Mercedes. To show you how it's done into uh, that corner. Brilliant move. Yeah, that I'm sure that's result. turn 15, not turn 13. And somebody needs to uh, get their calculator out. Gasly overtakes Liam Lawson. Gasly's flying. Right, we're at turn nine. That's Gasly is absolutely the flying. It's there for the taking. On these uh, mediums. Did we put him medium, medium, soft, didn't we? <laughs> see what happens when alternate strategies work? Gasly now, overtakes Stroll now. Gasly happened. really is flying. The opportunity's there. I wonder if Singapore has become uh, OP now for uh, places to uh, replace car parts. Because it seems that uh, it seems that that is the direction as Gasly overtakes Let's Stroll again. He's up to P6. Then. Now just keep your eyes on Gasly uh, I can here. delete that, they decide can't to give I? It a go. Yes. And then I want you, you... And that puts them to in go sixth. over here. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, virtual safety car! Oh, virtual safety car. Now, this is... Uh, I think this is around when Gasly was pitting anyway, wasn't it? Is this around where Gasly's pitting? Let's see what's uh, happened here. It's involving multiple cars. It's going to be George Russell on one of the Alpha Tauris. Oh, no! No, George! 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 George got it completely wrong there. Taking them both out at turn seven at the end of Raffles Boulevard. The team glued to the monitors and watching their hopes crumble away. <clears throat> I don't think... Uh, right, let's have a look here. Yeah, there's, goes, uh, there's the crash right there. Now, what are we going to do here? Ocon's pitted. Is it worth switching Lando? Is it worth... It, it's worth it for Gasly, because I think Gasly's in his pit window. So this this is uh, yeah this, this Gasly's stop was next anyway so let's get Gasly um, so we need to back off. in and let's get Lando okay. in let's stick Lando on another set of mediums it may be two stop from here for Lando but I, I think he's got such a gap that uh, he can make this two stop work I I think he's got if we go push as well he might be able to stick a set of softs on at the end of the uh, Grand Prix as well. <clears throat> so, let's get Lando in. This is Gasly's stop as well. In fact, we're 1-2 at the moment. This virtual safety car is going to help us out massively. So if we get Gasly on some softs. Vacher with the time penalty. Wow. Way to screw over the little guy. Richard Vacher gets a penalty for being wiped out by George Russell. What, what does that say, folks? You tell me what uh, that says. Lando Pelley. Because I don't Copy. think uh, anyone's going to be too, uh, too impressed with that, are they? So here comes uh, Lando in for his stop. He's going to definitely come out in the race lead. He's definitely coming out in the race lead. Let's, uh, while I do that, I'll back that up. I have no idea what uh, you're all up to. There we go. Thank you. So that's Lando serviced. Put you there. And then we'll get Gasly in. Now, Gasly is going to lose out, but this is going to bring Gasly right back into play here. And especially on, in fact, uh, where's Piastri? Piastri's just come through the final corner now with uh, Verstappen. Soft tyres on for Gasly. 
If you can get out uh, in front of Leclerc, it's going to be massive. No, he's going to lose out to Leclerc, but maybe Sonoda. He's behind Sonoda, but he's going to get out in front of Stroll. This brings Pierre Gasly back to play. Okay, but Gasly's past Leclerc. Happened. We're back racing again. So we're heading now into turn Around the outside five. of turn three. Through the kink of four. And they're heading to five for the Rappels Boulevard. I'm going to expect uh, that he's going to get Sonoda in the next... Uh, Sonoda somewhere down Raffles Boulevard, I imagine. And there you go. Gasly overtakes uh, Sonoda into P4. And now he did get him... Uh, actually got him into the sling. Wow, I didn't... Uh, maybe he just carried so much momentum. He just got him into the Singapore sling instead. Either way, it's a podium. Now in fourth place. It's a good move there for uh, for Mr. Gasly. Okay, Gasly is now around the outside of Piastri. He's right on the back of Verstappen as well. He's really hustling his uh, Pierre Gasly, really pushing these soft tires to the max. Can he do something around the outside of turn one, turn two, into turn three? He might be able to do something down to turn five and then onto Raffles Boulevard. He might even get Verstappen down in Raffles Boulevard here. He's got P4, three. Can he get P2? Can he get P2 for Verstappen squeezing him to the wall? Oh, that was naughty. That was a bit naughty from the uh, Dutchman, but uh, all fair. All fair. The FIA see uh, no problem with that. And again, it's the FIA, Red Bull, uh, Red Bull's best friend. Okay, Gasly overtakes Sonoda. Gasly into P2 now. now. Verstappen, I think, is pitted. So Gasly now is on the charge. <coughs> Can he catch Lando? And that's second place now. That would be amazing if he could catch Lando Norris, wouldn't it? Okay, it is time for Gasly to come in. Yes, Gasly to come in. And that is... This is going to be a stop for the soft tyres. This is scheduled. Piastri, 28 seconds behind Norris. Norris is flying. That that's that just shows the incredible speed that uh, we had. We want to be coming out in front of this gaggle which has Alex Albon with it. So we're out and are we out in front of Sonoda? Yes, we are. Brilliant. And we're out in front of that gaggle which has uh, Alb on him. Brilliant. So we can get these soft tyres to the end of the uh, Grand Prix now. So where do we pit Lando? Oh! Oh, safety car! <laughs> safety! Is he fine? Safety car. Safety car. Does whatever a safety car does. Carlos Sainz is going to bring out the safety car. Where's the last corner? Oh, that's big! Oh, that is big, and if he had been about six feet the other way, that was a red flag. And just like that, and that was a disaster for Gasly, but that's going to bring Gasly back into P2, surely. Surely that brings Gasly back into P2, but this is a free pit stop for Lando, and straight in. Straight in, not even thinking about it. It's going to put him in the race lead because Piastri, you see the mini map there, Piastri's just coming up to turn 15 now, so he's got a long way to go. We can uh, pit him. We, who's that behind us? That's poor chair, yeah, that's poor chair. I don't, if this is a poor stop, I don't actually mind it for the first time ever. I don't actually mind this is a poor stop. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. This is incredible. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I need to get onto that, don't I? I need to uh, get onto that. I'll, I'll type that out later on then. Okay, safety car safety is coming car to an end. Enough, Verstappen enough, hasn't pitted, enough, nor has enough. Sonoda from the looks of it. So Gasly, Gasly's going to just have easy pickings here and uh, Lando, I think, is going to uh, steam off into the distance. If he steams off into the distance, Gasly can just pick these two off. Uh, thank you very much, Big yeah. Bosch Wallop. Goodbye, golly, what a pick, yeah. I've almost lost my voice then. <clears throat> that seems to be happening a lot to me recently. Is that... Uh, I, uh, I seem to be having throat issues. 
good old uh, throat issues. I seem to be having them and uh, having them in plenty. Right, let's get uh, going again. We are back underway racing into uh, turn one, two and three. We're on board with Gasly because uh, we're just going to let Norris do his thing. Norris is going to disappear off in the distance. Gasly has the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. I don't think that's going to be for uh, too much longer if we're being completely honest with everybody. Because uh, I've got to believe that uh, someone else is going to have the uh, the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. But we've got uh, Gasly on push mode. And we mean real push mode here. He's pushing the tyres. He's pushing the fuel. He's pushing the ER, new ERS component that he has uh, in the car. And Lando is already seven tenths ahead. Maybe that'll be even more when he goes through the middle sector. Use, into the Singapore sling. He, Verstappen gains a little bit more time back. And I think... Uh, as we come through the Anderson hairpin. There you go, 1.1 seconds already. Lando's gone. Lando's gone, and if uh, he can just dis dis disappear off and do his uh, thing. Nice stutter there for a little bit. I probably did. This, 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 this. It does sound like uh, a DJ uh, in a second. <laughs> Said nobody ever. We're already, what, a second and a half ahead of Leclerc. Leclerc is done for. But look at this, he's just pushing this car. As as Incredible yeah, scenes, him pushing this car. You, are the you love to see it. We're going to get a one-two. Norris, touch grass, Lando. Gasly overtakes right Verstappen. Going to be into the Gasly. last corner as well. And I think the next clip is going to be us yeah, overtaking uh, Yuki Sonoda. And then disappearing off into the distance. Lando's already disappeared off into the distance, uh, unfortunately. And there goes Gasly past the odor. It's a 1 2 with Gasly from the back of the field. Sometimes our luck, this this race has. Um, it knows no bounds. Everyone out there, I know they, they, those that have uh, been watching the older uh, golf. They're going to be screaming, jammy bastard. And they're right, we are a jammy bastard today. You jammy bastard. <laughs> but it's going to be GG's. It's going to be GG's. It's going to be uh, fair play. Lando, I think, to be fair, deserved this uh, victory because uh, he's been in a class of one. And uh, Gasly, I think, has deserved second place because, in fact, he's out, out of DRS now. Verstappen is uh, going to be fighting to the Noda for uh, P3 with Piastri all over his rear end. We've had to beat uh, a lot of people today, and uh, we've beat the right people at the right time. We got Yes, we got a bit lucky with not just the virtual safety car, but also the safety car as well. But sometimes, sometimes that's the way it goes. Sometimes luck just goes your way. And uh, when it does, it goes your way absolutely perfectly. And to be fair, it has gone uh, absolutely perfect. We'll uh, make sure that uh, Pierre's got enough fuel to get to the end of the Grand Prix. We don't want him uh, running out of fuel. But meanwhile, I think we should um, we should applaud this man right here. After the uh, three races that uh, he's had where Gasly is shone, he showed bottle, he showed heart, and Lando Norris back on the winner's step again. Lovely. GG's. Gasly will come through the final corner a second now, he's going to take P2. He's first over the line. Absolute uh, incredible scenes. It's a 1-2. It's a 1-2 for Alfa Romeo. That's going to take us, what, one step closer to that Constructors title. A Constructors title we so desperately want to win this season. Some would say more than the Drivers title, but uh, I think, to be fair, we've practically got that uh, sewn up. It's just a case of which one wants to win it. What a remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. Incredible. That was a really well-deserved win. They got their race strategy absolutely spot on. But just look at this. The overwhelming excitement for those celebrating this achievement. Lando Norris certainly loves the podium, heading up there now to celebrate again. 
And that's excellent, seeing both the team's drivers up there on the podium together. And you've got to think that Singapore will be buzzing now for many hours to come. So then, Karu, in terms of the Alfa Romeo team, how will they be feeling after that? I doubt they could be much happier. A win and a podium place, what a great way to round out the weekend. And a big thanks to you all for joining us this weekend here in Singapore. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares for the Japanese Grand Prix. We'll see you at Suzuka, a firm favourite for the drivers. All right, maybe, maybe not quite the heroics what Lando did, but uh, if you think about it, they both gained the same positions. Lando went from 19 to 5 and uh, Gasly went from 16 to 2. But Gasly got a podium. <laughs> yes, everyone's going to be screaming, but the virtual safety car, but the virtual safety car. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever. Lando, 28-7. Touch grass, mate. Touch grass. That's a disgusting time. Absolutely disgusting time. It's max points as well uh, for us as well. That's going to increase Lando's lead back up to 70 points ahead of uh, Gasly. I think Verstappen is all but out of it now. Alfa Romeo nearly over 200 points ahead. Yeah, let's gloss over all that because, oh, look, we didn't have fast pit stops again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. How much did we gain off that race? 3.2. Hey. Hey. That's pretty good going, if you don't mind me saying so myself there. Okay, I, I will admit we got a little bit lucky with that one. Oh, we had the regulation vote for the uh, financial changes. Yes, we, um, we've, we've been degenerate. We've decided we're going to take money off all the big teams and give it all back to um, to the little teams. Let's, uh, what have we got? A wing failure, I think it was a suspension for uh, Pierre, wasn't it? So there's a wing adjustment and for, yeah, suspension, that's fine. Absolutely fine, but we got a bit lucky there. But uh, sometimes you got to have a little bit of luck to, uh, to get it through the day. Just a little bit of luck. Only slightly, though. Only slightly. But... I do think that that is going to uh, bring an end to uh, today's festivities then, folks. So uh, all that leaves me to say, I think. Have we got a few more uh, little bits there? I think we have got a few more uh, little... No, I think we're all right. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. In a moment, playlists will appear all around on your screen. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content at your viewing pleasure. But in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. If you can't be kind, be quiet. No place in the world, you can't be kind to other people. I will see you back here on Friday for the Japanese Grand Prix, where we're going to have to take a penalty for Pierre, I uh, do believe. And tomorrow, PGA Tour 2K23. Can we get some form back? Or uh, are we just destined to fail again?